Hello YouTube. Let's learn how to split Windows path, path to specific application, to specific file into sections using split method. So I'm gonna use Chrome for this, location to Chrome. Let's copy paste it. Uh, yep, but that's not enough. We of course need to put uh, this data somewhere and that will be path or uh, you can use something else, but I think that path is fine. So let's save it. And uh, every time when you're using split operation, you need to specify two things. Split on what and what is that symbol that you're using to split your string, because this is, uh, this is string, okay? So, uh, what is the source of uh, where you will do your, your split? That will be path and then dot and that and then split, not other way around. And a uh, couple of uh, or one attribute you need you need to specify here, and that is that specific symbol. Of course, you cannot just type symbol here. You need uh, that symbol need to be inside the single quotes. And if you're a beginner, you need to think about those things uh, when you become. Uh, little bit more experienced that will just come to you naturally so don't worry about it if you sometimes type here um, numbers or um, letters without without uh, quotes don't worry about it you will just get that over time so as I said we're gonna use slash here because that's the thing uh, which will uh, separate separate things into our path but that's not enough you need to use also you need to escape this this symbol and guess what you're gonna escape that sy symbol with uh, another slash so that's about it if you print this operation then result will be this this bunch of uh, here but that's not enough because you wanna line after line your parts okay so let's let's delete this and let's put result of this operation into variable so we can go with for loop through it so yeah for some abstract x or line in results we will print that specific line or abstract x or whatever and let's run it and that's it so we are good now question is why is this useful well maybe you're just experimenting you're practicing or you want to export this to database for some reason or you want to combine those things or you want to write it to file i don't know so let's you know create some file and let's write those individual parts for it because maybe you know you have some kind of additional script which will grab those parts on a specific line and then that script will do something with it uh, i guess i saw a couple of those examples over over the years when uh, you can mess around with oak with sed with you know with total commander where you can extract from files specific lines and delete them or substitute them change them something like that you know so maybe you over time you will run into that kind of examples or some kind of problems you know in the real world so yeah let's create file open a uh, file will be external and txt of course and type of operation will be write we're gonna enter that data into file every time when you are messing around with files please by all means close that file because if you don't do you will run into sooner or later into all kind of mess or you will just lose your data if you forgot you know <clears throat> if your source code is big or if you're doing multiple operations you'll mess things up totally so file close and now let's go to actual uh, actual operation so we need to remove this print and substitute that with writing to file so file write that specific line so let's run our script so no errors in the right panel let's go to external txt to see what's going on 
external and another monitor says this uh, yeah I forgot to do a new line which is simple stuff and now if you're a complete beginner you will probably think oh uh, there is that line from before and then this will be um, all cluttered there one after another well no because actually this is this w here is destructive it will completely delete everything into that file before it will it will in a split second delete and create the same file so you can think about that like like that now if you want to append things to file then you need to uh, delete this and type a here for append now this will not change okay uh, even if this is write or append that's not important this right here will always remain right when you are uh, writing to file so yeah I, th I think I am good now yep let's check our file external txt on another monitor and that's about it so really really simple stuff uh, yeah I, I mean you can have a little bit bigger script which will grab all these parts and which will search for specific folders for spe specific drives for specific part of folder um, extension of file beginning letters ending letter, whatever you know but you know simple stuff for uh, beginners so you can play around if nothing else because one big part people forget that the big part of learning programming is actually having fun and doing stupid stuff because that this is how you learn and uh, programming and this is where you learn what is uh, what can be useful and what uh, is not useful but you need to invest some time to uh, stumble through some things to create errors to make mistakes and then you will over time you know be in position when you know something by default is it useful or not when you're using it and when you're learning about it because after a couple of years into programming you will probably much more read about things than doing actual programming maybe other people will do that job for you but you know so anyway seven minutes uh, thank you for watching Please subscribe and see you in the next tutorials.